Exactly. I always tell new people to start with the buyers. So you can start with the sellers as well. But, you know, you, hey, if you find the greatest deal in the world and you don't have any buyers, well, there's really nothing you can do with it. So you really should start with the buyers. Plus, the buyers will help educate you on the market as well. They'll, all those things that I said, they will help you drill down into that. And you'll, you'll learn how they think, what they're looking for, what percentages they're looking for. Then you can go after and hunt the deals. And there's, you know, all kinds of free ways to hunt deals between Craigslist and Facebook and uh, Zillow for sale by owners. Uh, realtors, title companies, you know, uh, probate attorneys, um, uh, you know, management companies. I mean, there's all kinds of ways that you can find motivated sellers for free, driving for dollars, door knocking, uh, it, you know, any number of ways. But you can find all the great deals in the world. If you don't have anybody to buy them, you, you know, there's no way for you to make any money. Right. And again, I didn't go to college, right? So I had no business training, no college education, uh, went in the Navy. So I was working in a restaurant at night. And there was a guy doing an addition on the restaurant during the day, and he hired me to clean up after him. He saw that I was a hard worker, um, and so I just followed him around and started doing jobs. So that's how I kind of got into the construction business and learned how to do things. And I'm very, I'm just entrepreneurial, right? So when I was a young kid, I was cutting grass, raking leaves. I'm talking 10, 11 years old. I'd go knock on your door if your grass was long. I'd knock on your door, Daniel, you want me to cut your grass? 20 bucks. Done. You don't have to worry about it. It's 100 degrees outside. You're going to give me 20 bucks, right? Right. So uh, in the winter, dead of winter, you got leaves all over your yard. I'd go out and I'd rake your leaves. I'd wash your car. I mean, literally, I would knock on your door. You want me to wash your car? Five bucks. Done. I'll wax it the whole nine yards, right? So I mean, that's just how I'm wired. So um, I was entrepreneurial at a young age. And I worked in the corporate world just a short time after I got out of the military in some restaurants. So I, I got some really good management training and leadership training in the restaurants. I was one of the youngest general managers that uh, uh, that uh, Bennigan's ever had when I worked for them. And I went through their whole process from dishwasher to management. And uh, so I learned some really good business systems. So what I am is I'm a leader, delegator, motivator, right? So I'm very good at delegating. I'm, I'm not a control freak. I'm not going to come in and hire somebody and tell them how to do their job. So the way I scaled a $250,000 building business, it's just like a wholesaling or flipping business or anything else. Um, it's systems and it's people. So first it was me, my truck, my tools, doing everything myself. And then uh, my next hire was uh, somebody in the field to help me, a carpenter. And then I hired another carpenter to help us. So then I could step out and become the superintendent. Then, then I hired my office manager part-time to handle all of the administrative and the bookkeeping. Back in those days, I was still doing it by hand. Didn't buy my first computer till like 2000, you know, for my business. <laughs> right? I, mean, I had a little hand journal ledger and I was writing stuff down. So, um, you know, I transitioned into that role. And then um, I think I put another crew in the field. Then I hired a superintendent to supervise those two crews. And I had my office manager, you know, book an appointment. So I had my uh, cell phone and my pager. And I would start on one end of the beach north, and I would just spend all day long driving to the south end of the beach um, doing handwritten estimates. So if you called for something, I showed up at your house that day, and I gave you a handwritten estimate. I want you to take that right there. I showed up that day. The key to this business, the key to any business, 90% of the game is showing up. If you're a wholesaler flipper, you got to answer the phone. you got to take that call. And I tell you, I can't tell you how many people put out bandit signs, spend thousands of dollars in marketing, and don't answer the phone and they don't call people back and they don't follow up and follow through. Um, showing up is 90% of the game. Following up, following following through, following up, that's, I mean, you know, I just can't tell you how valuable that is and how far that goes. So anyways, well, that's kind of the progression I went through and how I scaled. Let me and pause. again, I'm a leader, delegator, motivator. So I put professionals in place. I coach them to success. I mentor them, groom them, pour into them. I help other people become successful. That's how I built every business I've ever done. That's how I do every project I do now. I do it through others by coaching them to success.